Today, I'm gonna to review my experience wearing the Casio F91W for the last one week, thanks to your support in our latest community poll. As a bonus, I'm gonna let you decide which of our next two watch candidates we're gonna wear for our next episode of Watch of the Week, so stick around to the end. Make sure you're subscribed and we're gonna get started with some quick footage of wearing this watch for the last one week. It has of course been coming along with me to all my daily walks with my dog, Bubble. I also put the F91W's advertised water resistance to the test with a steaming hot shower every single day and it passed with flying colours. What else did I like about wearing the F91W? Well, I love the feel of wearing this watch. It is extremely comfortable. And in a previous video, I did say that the A700W was the comfiest watch I'd ever worn, but there is a new sheriff in town. In fact, one might even say that this watch is so comfortable that it feels like I'm wearing nothing, nothing at all. all. Nothing, nothing at all. all. Nothing, nothing at all. all. <gasps> Next, we have to talk about the incredible alarm clock for this watch. Now, I have set an alarm for 4.52, so very shortly we're about to hear it go off, but what I love about this watch and the alarm is that it is not simple to turn it off. With the other G-Shocks that I own, you can quite easily press any of the four buttons and keep on snoozing, but not with this thing, and I'll show you why in just five seconds. All right, so as you can hear, it is quite loud. The bottom left button doesn't work. The bottom right button doesn't work. Only the top left light button works. And that means you actually have to have a think about it when you're turning off the alarm. So its alarm clock does an incredible job of its purpose of waking you up. Oh, and I have to tell you about the comment I got wearing this watch. So I met up with my family the other day and my brother asked about the watch and I told him it's fantastic. It does everything that I need it to. Now, because you're a Casio fan, you know what I meant, right? It does all the bare essentials. It's the bare essentials of everything that I need. But no, he's not a Casio fan. He didn't know that. Keep in mind, he is a smartwatch wearer. So he then proceeded to absolutely roast me for wearing this watch and started asking me questions saying, really, it can do everything? Can it receive messages? Can it be a GPS? Can you pay by card? Is it a heart rate monitor? No, of course not. And I found that very amusing. And yes, he was right. It can't do all of those fancy things, but guess what? I've very deliberately chosen not to wear a smartwatch for my own reasons. And as a matter of fact, I'd love to hear what your reasons are. Why don't you wear a smartwatch? The next place that I tested my F91W was at both of my sports games. So I wore this to my beach volleyball game on Thursday and on Friday, as you can see here. And I found it to be lighter than my GD350, which I'd usually wear to my volleyball games, and it held up quite well. It didn't get damaged by the sand. It even survived a few jolts of being directly hit with a volleyball a few times. So normally in my volleyball games, to keep track of the 12 minute round time, I would just use the single button to start a 12 minute timer on my GD350. But seeing as I couldn't do that, all I did is go to the stopwatch and hit start at the beginning of a round. And then just by doing a bit of quick mental maths, I could work out how long was left on the round. So it did serve its purpose. We also made great use of the F91 stopwatch feature yet again while doing my last watch review in which we talked about how to use multiband 6 even without being in range of one of the 6 towers. And if you missed that one, check it out above. I would also like to make a correction on the statements I made about the F91W's backlight. In my unboxing video of this watch, I said that the backlight would never be useful, but what I found was that in low light situations, it can indeed make the watch legible, so I stand corrected. So, smash that like button because it's time for the bonus. And by the way, if you would like to get your hands on this awesome watch, I will be leaving a link for you in the description below. Let's get into the bonus. And here it is, we have two watches to pick from for our next watch of the week. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. On the left we have the infamous AE1200, okay? The Casio Royale, and I am super keen to wear this bad boy. And the other option you have, which I will not open yet because it's still sealed, is a GWB5600. And that's a watch with Bluetooth and multiband six, which I have worn before. 
So if you want to make a vote, I'll be leaving a poll on my profile. So just go to the Goat Reviews profile, the community tab, and there will be an option to cast your vote. And of course, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on the results. I'm leaving you with our watches playlist as well as the original unboxing of the F91W in which we discovered how to tell whether it's real or fake. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.